man, if you guys are looking to buy any cheapest coins on the market, man, check out my sponsor, GamerMess.com, man. You can get a million coins for less than $60, man. Use code BREE for 6% off your order and build a guy squad you want without breaking the bank. What's going on YouTube man, we're back here with another video man, we are doing our Madden 22 wish list. Usually I will have my camera, but I don't know why, it's, it's lighting up and going dark, I don't know what's wrong with it. But we have 20 things I would love to see in Madden 22. I want to make the video at least first because I don't want to want to say in my comments, Oh, but you stole this idea from somebody else. No, I, I know. I'm getting most of my ideas from 2K and saying they should bring it to Madden 22. But let's get started. Number one, cross play and cross save to Madden 22. A lot of you guys know a lot of players, especially my Discord, as players that want to play uh, solo, bat uh, solo battles, uh, my squads, uh when the stuff was going on for uh, the free mcs players and there's on different consoles so i believe cross play needs to be at least in madden 2k and also cross say what do you mean by that so if i have multiple consoles and i have having to buy madden multiple times which you shouldn't i should be able to pick up and play where i left off and i want them to ha add it on the nintendo switch for all my nintendo switch users you guys know what i mean if i want to go to my girlfriend's house and play madden do my solos if i want to go to work I want to be able to open some packs, like for example, the Blitz offers, and you guys know we be at work, they be doing it late night. I want to be able to open those while I'm on the go, or at least put it in Mad Mobile. But hey, I always thought that, especially when I was in uh, my senior year in high school, that Mad Mobile and Ultimate Team was the same thing. You can link it together, but no, you couldn't. So I want cross play and cross save. Number two, better pack. Like if I say, what do you mean by that? Just don't open packs. Yes, I understand that, but if you spend money in the game and you open packs your odds should be a lot better than when you do for using in-game currency that's not fair to people who actually do spend money and you don't get nothing as you want that's a waste of money it's like a hundred dollars out of day for these packs unless they decrease the uh the money i mean the, the decrease the prices i truly doubt that but at least give the people who spend money on the game better pack odds than people who are using coins in the game trust me it will a lot of people spend a lot more money even if there are no money spent they may think about because hey you see him opening money spending money on the game and he get a lot of getting a lot of stuff why not? Number three, training variety packs. Now, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Yes, I would love to see it come back in the game next year, which it probably will because it was so successful. But I do have a feeling they may not put it next year because was it really an incentive to open packs when it came out? Because they put all the LTD, they put all the golden tickets in there. And that's why I think the golden tickets really was stale and really people didn't like it because everyone was pulling them, even though their name was trash. They people was pulling them left and right, so I have a feeling the trade and variety of packs will not be back in Man 22, at least not at the beginning, because most of the time everyone doesn't open packs anyway because they're no money spent. So, but trade and variety of packs I think it was fun because most people just had training and we just consistently re rolling trade and variety packs, so that's just my opinion. Number four, we need a battle pass. You probably say, Breeze, ain't Fortnite, Apex, or Warzone. Yes, I understand it isn't that, but to simply stop. Think about it. We need a battle pass that consists of coaches, maybe some uniforms, some playbooks. Give us some certain players for getting the max battle pass. Keep the keep the mutt level. Will be level 50, 40, whatever it is. You keep that, but you add a battle pass. If you want to pay for it to get extra stuff, you go ahead and do that. But I believe Madden needs a battle pass in this game to keep the game fresh. With the end of the day, for certain content creators like myself, I just do gameplays or do solo challenges and get off the game. So I believe personally, if EA adds a battle pass to this game, it will keep people playing this game just a little bit longer for that span of time because we're consistently waiting on these series um series two series three series four those are the things we usually wait on but if we have battle pass it gives more stuff to work on and to do in the game next up number five john madden if you guys didn't know last year in madden 20 john madden gave you a a, a boost like speed or excel or whatever this year he really didn't even touch that i would love to see a boost in speed if you are grinding for john madden you should be compensated you should be rewarded for grinding out and getting that coach and getting one every season so i believe john madden should make a return even though he is in the game but give him the plus one to the speed and almost i think some of the stats so you they should definitely do that next year uh ea number six and this is kind of the longest one, I think, out of all the segments. Rewarding players for playing other modes. You're probably saying, Bree, what do you mean? I'm, I want you guys to answer this question in the comments right now. Comment, and then if you want to comment again, just re-edit your comment. How many of you guys play Weekend League? Probably most of you guys probably play Weekend League, right? How many of you guys play Musk Squats? How many of you guys play Mutt Draft? How many of you guys play Solo Battles? 
I say about 2% of you guys probably play all of those because no one plays Mutt Squads, no one plays Mutt Draft, no one plays Solo Battles. Obviously, I do give you rewards, but we don't play. The last time we played uh, solo, Mutt Squads in Mutt Draft was for the free players. And in my head, I'll say EA, that is a great idea to get us to play other modes because we're getting reward playing other cards. Now, keep in mind, you have power passes and the, the training bypass, which I believe they should keep it going. But... You should be rewarded. So if I play Musquads with some people, you should be, if I, whatever wins I get, I should get a certain card for that particular series. So let's just say, for example, Madden 22 comes out, right? And they say you, each each mode has a reward, and so you have to play to get those particular cards. They, they give us a 93 Saquon Barkley. Win this many games in this season, you get a Saquon Barkley. I bet you majority, either you take the mode out or you do that and people will start playing these modes, EA. Trust me, people will play these modes if you add certain rewards. Yes, I know the coins. Yes, I know the packs. But sometimes we do want players. We we, we give us all the coins and the packs, but add a player. Add some of those. Because some people, don't, like me personally, I don't really don't care about the packs and coins. Because I'm open packs regardless. But some people want to have the extra rewards with solo battles. And I, I think solo battles is just solo challenges with playing against other people from across the world that have CPU. That's the problem with solo battles. That's why I don't like it. It's long and boring. I barely like doing solos. But add rewards for playing other modes. Number seven, solo challenges with friends. Keep that in. In the next year's game now some people didn't know this year i don't know about man 20 i think he probably wasn't man 20 in man 20 or man 21 for sure you can play your solo challenges with a friend i never did because i don't have friends that play the game especially mutt they have mad don't play mutt you can do these solos so keep it up next year i say definitely keep it up if i'm trying to ask people to do solo challenges with me but next year add uh, keep, keep adding it. Next up, we do have Team Chemistries without needing the power-up. For example, I obviously keep the power-up system in the game, but you guys do know certain players don't have power-ups, and they do play for multiple teams. So, if you add the ability to change Team Chemistries for theme team-wise, for example, I'm a Chargers fan, Derek Watt doesn't have power-up, but he's currently on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Unless he gets like a flashback. The only, I believe, the only card that allows you to change the uh, Team Chemistries is Veterans. So, he has, like I said, a Pittsburgh card. I run a charge theme team. I want to give him the boost. I want to get a uh, chemistry boost. I want to be able to chain the chemistry without even having to have power up. So that's something we do need in the game. If you still keep the power system, but just allow players to chain the chemistries in the game. So next up, we do have number nine. 3v3 mode or a 7-on-7 seven seven mode. If you guys play football in real life in high school, you guys know what 7-on-7 seven seven is. Give us different modes to play in the game because we who, who in the hell plays um uh what's Superstar KO? You make that a free to play mode. You be like Warzone. You make that free to play. You make them. You make them come by the real game. We do not need Superstar KO in this game. It's essentially mud, but you just have your X factors activated. So I personally believe if you add that, it'll be a little bit different because hey, you get to pick your best three players, your quarterback, your receivers, and you go against your best three three D three DBs from uh, your opponent. So I would love a three v three or seven on seven mode to change up a little bit. In the mode. Next up, we have abilities change in the pause menu. You probably say, Bray, what do you mean by that? For example, you pause the game, you play somebody who has two edge thread elites and you don't have edge protector. Okay, let me switch my uh, abilities around and add edge protector or change it up to counter your opponent. Obviously, yes, I understand you need to make sure your stuff is good before you hop into a game, but let's say you want to make adjustments on the fly. You should be able to do that in game. I thought about that in Man 20, but it, since Man 21 is like this, where you get multiple. Um, Abilities you sh with different players, not just three anymore. You should be able to change that and, and see if you can counter your opponent. Now, obviously, we all know the abilities in this game suck. M at least make the abilities work majority of the time. Number eleven, custom uniforms and jerseys. I believe we've been asking for this for a long, long time. Ever since what? Ever since Mutt came out. The problem is a lot of you guys in the community are very childish. Look at people in two K. We will see dildos and porn stars on it. That's the problem. That's why they won't do it on MLB the show. Do it. But I would love EA to say, you know what? We're going to give them what they want. We'll give these guys custom unis, custom jerseys. I would love to see that, okay? Next up, we have freestyle mode slash testing a card. Now, in 2K, they do have a mode where you can freestyle and test the card out. I would love to have that in the game. You want to test the quarterback's release? Hey, go ahead and uh, test them out, uh, buy a card. Or you can rent a card, take it to the freestyle, see how it uh, releases and stuff like that. That's something that I believe we should add into the game because... It will be like, okay, how does receiver's footwork, how everything goes with this card. So I believe a training mode or a freestyle mode would be pretty good as well. Next up, we have tendencies animations for certain players, and I believe adding wingspan. We guys all know that in Madden, almost all the players are the same. There's different names. Obviously, some people are better than others, but most of the cards are the same. Separate them. Give them different tendencies. Give them different animations. Obviously, we do have.
have traits, but make it more, add more to it. Wingspan, yes, we know how long Julio Jones is. Let's see his wingspan. Can he can he get a jump ball? Because for me personally, my opinion, Jalen regular Julio Jones should be able to get a jump ball like that. Let the wingspan catch up. Trust me, because that's something we do need. It will separate the card so much, and it will make you think, okay, do I need, it'll make you uh, think more, okay, do I want this card because of this wingspan? Not just the stats and stuff like that, and the abilities and this um, archetype. What about the wingspan? That's something that will definitely change the game, people's decision-making in mud. Next up, we have keep Team of the Week as it is. I actually like this year's Team of the Week style, which was, uh, I believe they added so many cards from uh, Flashback Team of the Week, current players, and like an LTD and stuff like that. So I actually like the Team of the Week style. I actually did love the content this year, the promo. It was amazing this year. I believe some promos were ass, but I do certainly believe the content the content that was given us was pretty good. Only thing issues I believe I had the game was really was the uh, the content, like the, the names. We didn't have no big names, but that would be for the Ultimate Team Review of the Year. Next up, we have Coach, um, what was I to say, uh, uh, Solo should be rewarding you for certain times. You guys remember in Mad 16, we had the Journey, for some of you guys who didn't know, which was the Rivals this year. Journey gave us an Amari Cooper, a nice Amari Cooper. You couldn't buy him off the auction house or nothing like that. You grind the Journey, you get that Amari Cooper, and he was pretty good. We should have that this year to do certain solos or bring back the Journey. Obviously, they had that this year with the Rivals, but I'm talking about a nice ass card, a high overall card. You should be rewarded for grinding solos. So I believe certain solos should reward your particular card, not just a a fantasy pack or a net player pack or whatever you should get a certain particular new card that's not in the game um next we have codes should give packs aka locker codes you got for me with 2k i believe certain content creators or even ea should tweet out okay we'll put this locker code in and you can put a redeem and get a free legend pack and boom right there i would love to see that or give away free players because i I truly believe that would be nice lock, limited locker codes or whatever or lock limited codes for mat for packs. That would be pretty cool to see. Have a have a little section for that in the settings and it will be good. Um next up we have stat scaling. Now, this is the issue especially at the beginning of the year. It was an issue because for one certain cards stats were ass depending on the time of the year. For example, Deion Sanders is 50 card. That card was the best corner and I bet you from November whenever he came out all the way up until this draft promo, I bet you about 70% of the people in the Muck community were still rocking out with that Deion Sanders, exactly. The exact same Deion Sanders. The tight ends in this game, as of right now, there's no base 99 speed tight end. But the speed, the, the 92 speed tight ends can beat 99 speed corners. Just, it, it, they got to make it make sense. They got to make it make sense. But basically what I'm saying is this. Certain cars at the beginning of the year, they may have like 80 speed. They may be like freaking 95s. They got to do better with that because some cars do get stale and just like that. So next up, we have, you should be, you should be, how can I put it like this? I know had in Mad 16 where it, you put a car out of position. You should be punished for putting a player out of position. For example, I remember in Mad 16, it was a it was a receiver. We, it, was, it wasn't Brandon Marshall. It was a receiver. We do. Uh, what was his name? I'll figure it out. You can put. I remember putting receiver. Highs War. It was one. He's one for example. You put a receiver at tight end, right? Now people are putting. You know, your safety's at linebacker, your left hand's at D tackle, or, or, or whatever, et cetera, et cetera. If, they don't, if you don't have the option to have a chemistry switch, like the chemistry, the position chemistries, you should be punished. Either your awareness goes down, or you should get instantly punished in the run game. That's just fair, because now it makes middle linebackers irrelevant. It's no point to have middle linebackers just for the overall boost. So if you run a safety at middle linebacker and they get touched by a lineman, they should get an instant pancake if they're running the ball. Now, passing is a little bit different, but in this year's game, you can do the run in the pass. So they got to balance it out to make you want to use linebackers. Or if you want to use safeties, you, sh you, you can, but you will be penalized for putting players out of position. Um, next up, we have two more <laughs> weather and injuries. I know people say they hate weather and injuries. I understand, but this is kind of like, okay, if you have an injury, this is, a point. This is happening in real life. You gotta, your backup's got to be ready. So I would love to see weather and injuries. Uh, if you play a Lambeau field, and depending on the date, you should deal with the frozen tundra. It should be cold as hell. It should be snowing. I would love to see that. It would change the game up because people can't do all the corner and out routes. But, hey, that's just me. And, finally, the last one will be collector level. You guys know I open a lot of packs, and 
a lot of people in the community that is in Madden, but also in 2K, that hold on to certain cards until they get the upgrade. But let's just say I don't want to sell that card. I want to hold on to this card and get rewarded for collecting a thousand cards. You give me a 99 Bo Jackson, a 99 uh, Marcus Allen, 99 C Colin Kaepernick, Michael Vick. Give us something to let us collect some cards because it's really no point in opening packs. You're just gonna sell them right back with quick sell for training. So if I want to hold on to this particular card, let me do that because that seems fair. Because I want to be able to get like a thousand cards. Say, hey, I'm one of the few people in the community to get these, uh, get this card. So hey, that's just me, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed this wish list. Any questions or your wish list? Talk, let's talk about the comment section down below, man. But I am out. Peace.